We're going to turn the service over to Brother Jeremy and his wife, and they can sing, they can do what they want to. Praise the Lord, get her a good mic over there. And uh, that mic ain't real good over there. So, but anyway, these are these are wonderful people. Of course, we would. Uh, if I said, if I was to tell y'all that they were no good, you know what? Wilma would whoop me on the way home. <laughs> Because Jeremy is her uh, nephew, and of course, all of you met Ada, her uh, woman's sister. This is her, kid, her uh, grandson. He's a pretty good old boy, though, I'll tell you that. Nice. And uh, I want him to take his liberty in the Lord. We, uh, I did have a mic that worked, but I forgot to give you the battery. So you have to Amen. I, uh, the scripture says to be ready in season and out of season. And when I pulled up, he said, I hope you're ready to preach tonight. And I said, oh boy. Uh, but you know what? I, I, it's, it, it, I, I tell you what, uh, when we come in and we uh, were sitting back there, it, it kind of took me back to my childhood days. And how many, how many know that we need a move of God in, this, in these last days that we live in? Uh, we need God to move across this uh, across this country and uh, I don't believe that it's going to start in the White House I don't believe it's going to start with the senators and, and all those congressmen and women I believe that it's going to start in the church it must start in the church and um, and so I'm looking forward to what God's going to do tonight I, I do ask you to uh, excuse me to uh, uh, at this time to continue to worship the Lord. My wife is going to bless us in song and then I'll come and, and get into the word of the Lord. I just want to say I'm, I'm honored to be here tonight. I've enjoyed every part of the service. It kind of took me back to my childhood growing up in the Pentecostal church and some of those songs I haven't heard in a really long time. And, and those songs are precious songs and they don't need to be forgotten. They, there's something special about those old songs. There really is. And it takes me back to good memories. I don't think I have any bad memories, but only good memories of the things that the Lord has done. This is my favorite hymn that has always been dear to me, just I surrender all. You know, when you surrender all to God, you have nothing but good things to look forward to, don't you? So I thank God for that.
Amen. How many come to surrender their all to Jesus tonight? I've come to surrender all to Him. You know, I've been in a lot of different places over the past few weeks. Uh, my wife and I, we had pastored a church there in Paducah for four and a half years. And uh, we had resigned the church. And as we did, we began to look. And I want to tell you something. I believe that we're living in a day and hour to where people need to experience the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost once again. Uh, we're living in a day and hour to where we try to water it down. And, and we've been, Pastor, we've been to church after church after church. And, um, you know, I've walked in and said, Lord, I just want to feel the Holy Ghost once again. How many remember what it's like whenever the Holy Spirit gets a hold of you and He begins to move on your life? I want you to understand tonight that I've I've not come to show off or I've not come to, to be a show or anything, but I've come tonight to bring something to you that I felt earlier that God laid in my spirit. It, how many knows God works things out and we don't understand what He's doing? Have you ever been in that boat before? You see, this morning, my wife and I went to visit a church in Clinton, Kentucky, and as we was there, the gentleman walked up to me and he said uh, to me, he said, I want you to pray over the service. And I thought, I'm a visitor, you know, but then all of a sudden, hey, I came here tonight and I was told to preach, so <laughs> praise the Lord. You know what? But you know what? I, 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 the thing about it was is that the Lord began to lay something right there in that seat on my heart. And I began to look at it, and I didn't get to say anything about it. I thought, God, why didn't you give it to me if I wasn't going to be able to speak it? Yeah. Not knowing that I would walk through tonight and have, have be, be privileged to come up and preach the word of the Lord to you in this house. And I want you to know something tonight. God doesn't do things out of uh, 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 by accident. He does them in a timely order. Amen? Yeah. If you have your Bibles, turn with me tonight to Psalm 150. I love this psalm. It's the last of the psalms, and it's a psalm that ministers to me. I come to praise the name of the Lord tonight. Did you come to praise the name of the Lord? Amen. You know what? If we cannot praise God here on this earth, how can we praise Him in heaven? Amen. If we're not going to be able to lift up our voices here on this earth to praise the name of the Lord, what makes us think? Because that's what heaven is going to be, my friend. It's going to be where we come together in one mind and one accord, and we, we listen, it's going to be of all nationalities. It's not going to be a white thing or a black thing or an Asian thing. It's going to be a God thing. There's going to be men, women, boys and girls in there. And if you, listen, I often told some folk this. I said, if you don't like how loud we are tonight in, in, in this place, you're not going to like heaven because I believe that they're going to be praising the name of the Lord. They're going to be worshiping Him. They're going to be glorifying His holy and His mighty name. Amen? Psalm 150 says this. It says, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Where are we at tonight? We're in his sanctuary. What are we to do? We're to praise him. He says, praise him in the ferment of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with a sultry and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And then verse 6 says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Would you pray with me tonight, Father? I come to you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the opportunity. 